Hello again, it's time for Game of the Week. For this week, it is one of my favorite games of all time. This is Super Monaco Grand Prix on the Sega Genesis. I still have a Genesis, and I still have this old game, but I've decided to, you know, in, in order to record it, to play it on a uh, computer and play it on, through a ROM. Now we look through the practices, all the little tracks you get to uh, play through. You can see how old this game is with the Western map there. <laughs> I used to play this as a kid, it was the first game that really got me into uh, video gaming. And see, you can either play with just automatic and easy or high speed of that. Now I'll look at the Super Monaco Grand Prix mode. You have a little preliminary qualifying race, which is only half the track. Um, it's pretty much a, a knockout kind of thing. There are little checkpoints and you need to be above a certain position in the race or you get knocked out and then it goes across um, several different bits of the race, so I'll show you bits and pieces of it. And there's the race bit. As you can see, I need to be above 15th here. And do your three laps, and then when it's over, there'll be the next part of this race. And unfortunately, hit them. <laughs> you can't get away with hitting this. Eventually, there'll be a little trouble thing that'll come on the screen that makes you have to pit to repair. There you go, and it's going to show the next part. And so, the next race in this is going to be uh, wet conditions. What I'm going to show you now, my favorite mode in this whole game, is the World Championship mode. You start with a lower tier car, and you can work your way up. They're obviously, they're all plays on real cars of the time. You know, Minarets is obviously a play on Minardi. And you can select the rival to move up, so you, you look through all the cars, and it's like, uh, see so you're in bottom of level C. Let's take a look at the worst car here. The car's difference is speed, handling, you know, just the way you'd expect a better F1 team to have. This is the guy who will be your main rival through most of the game, or at least will improve the most of all the rivals. And then, you know, you look through the top cars, and I'll pick my favorite car here. I'll play on Ferrari, obviously. The rival usually st stay much higher than they um, usually start otherwise, but um, if they're one of the top, uh, like the A-level teams, you, they will always start first. Didn't take that corner quite well enough. Now we'll do it correctly this time. Unfortunately, the sign. If you hit a sign too hard, you can crash. And I'll show you a bit of that later. And as you move on, I've moved up a couple of cars to not to do the huge jump at the beginning from mid-level car to the end. I mean, you can do it, but it's kind of fun to work your way up. So I picked the top B-level car here. See, I took a little damage, so you see the trouble sign come up. 
but uh, there's no need to pit on the final lap. This would be the U.S. Grand Prix. See the little orange uh, on the minimap is your rival. And the second thing is always his position. the choice to go over or not, just for this point I'm not going to move on. Let me take a look at this car just so you can see it. And then I moved on and I'll show you pitting in once you have damage. Just repairs your car and any problems you've had. Now I've moved on to the top car here and we'll give you a look at uh, preliminary race and a little bit at the beginning of uh, a race. This is really the game that got me into, as I said, into gaming a lot. I was living overseas at the time and it's uh, it was just this game I found really hard as a kid. I don't know, it's only like five or six years old. I found it really, really hard and kept trying to do it and uh, eventually did. And so it always has a special part. Uh, of my heart in there, and uh, I go back every couple of years and play it, and it just happened to be this week that I felt like playing it again. You pretty much play through um, two to three seasons of the World Championship, and the second season, if you've ta finished uh, first place, uh, a version of Ayrton Senna will join the game and pretty much, well, beat you no matter what. <laughs> And once he beats you, you'll lose your car and you'll have to work your way back up again. You can never get the top car back. And see, when you are the top car, someone will challenge you, and this is the guy that was the top car driver before. And because he's challenging you, he'll be much higher up on your pole than he would be. And if he wasn't challenging, he'd probably be like 7th or 8th. So that's my, one of my favorite games, Game of the Week.